The question is whether NaOH is an electrolyte or a non-electrolyte. So this is sodium hydroxide. When we look at sodium hydroxide, we first need to figure out what type of compound this is. So we have a metal here and it's bonded to two non-metals. This is the hydroxide ion. It's actually a polyatomic ion. But when we have metal bonded to non-metals, this is going to be an ionic compound. And soluble ionic compounds, they're going to be electrolytes. Let's take a look at that. If you know your solubility rules, compounds with sodium in them, they're very soluble. So this is going to dissolve, break up into its ions when it's put in water. So when it does that, it splits up into positive and negatively charged ions. Then it's an electrolyte. It'll conduct electricity. That solution of the ions in the water will conduct electricity. So sodium in group one on the periodic table, that forms one plus ions, the sodium ion. And then you just need to remember that OH here, when it's bonded to a metal, this is the hydroxide ion, OH. And the whole thing has an ionic charge of one minus. So we have these two ions, they're in water. We write AQ, aqueous means dissolved in water. So in answer to our question, NaOH, the sodium hydroxide, breaks apart into its ions, it's an electrolyte. One last thing about sodium hydroxide. So we have this table here. This lists the common strong acids and common strong bases. And we can see sodium hydroxide, that is one of the common strong bases. So all of these here, strong acids and strong bases, they're also considered strong electrolytes. So sodium hydroxide, good one to remember that it's a strong base, strong electrolyte as well. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.